Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, Boston and Philadelphia. These are all cities you might expect to be the capital of the United States if you're only just introduced to the nation. Cities that have had huge impact and importance throughout the entire life cycle of the USA, with New York and Philly being important at the beginning of the nation's life, New York especially. However, the capital is instead a small piece of land between Virginia and Maryland. Why is that? In the late 18th century, when the country was young, important political meetings were carried out in New York and Philadelphia. This was a problem for many of the southern leaders such as Thomas Jefferson, who owned plantations in the south which required them to frequently travel back and forward between Virginia and the northern states, a trip that took quite some time before trains and planes were invented. So why did the Congress change the capital from two established areas that had been active during the Revolution and change it to a completely new land ceded from Maryland and Virginia? Well, there are a number of reasons. An act during 1783 created discontent between Congress and the state of Philadelphia. The nation had issues paying the Continental soldiers who had been active in the Revolutionary War. Tensions built up and things came to a head as a crisis broke out known as the Philadelphia Mutiny of 1783. 400 soldiers marched on the Independence Hall and barricaded the doors, locking those inside until they were paid. A young political leader who'd been a soldier himself and was known for his quick wit and golden tongue was dispatched to deal with the situation. Alexander Hamilton met with the troops and convinced them to stand down and allow the Congress some time to resolve the matter and pay the troops. The troops agreed to this, but instead of carrying out what they had promised, Congress got out of Dodge and moved to Princeton, New Jersey. Over the next few years they'd moved to Trenton, New Jersey, Annapolis, Maryland and New York City. While all this moving about was going on, the French ambassador to the United States and one of the key figures in securing funding and troops for the Revolutionary War, Thomas Jefferson had returned to the United States. Jefferson was a southern leader, much like President Washington, and owned ranches and plantations in Virginia. Virginia was at that time arguably the most important state, holding half a million of the 2.5 million Americans at the time, and holding a great deal of its wealth. Hamilton believed, however, that the future of America's wealth was not in exporting products, but in borrowing from other nations. He wanted to found the first Bank of America, but did not have enough backing from other congressmen. Although Jefferson was not a fan of Hamilton, he and close friend James Madison felt that they could swing the votes in Hamilton's favour if he agreed to back their bid to move the capital from the north to a new plot of land near Virginia and Maryland along the Potomac River. What was said between the two groups who had notably bad blood between them is not known as No one else was in the room where it happened! If you're not a fan of Hamilton, that reference makes no sense. Sorry about that. In 1790, Congress passed the Resident Act, which gave both parties what they wanted. Jefferson and Madison had the capital moved to a new piece of land taken from both Virginia and Maryland and named Washington after the President, with the district being named Columbia after Christopher Columbus. While Hamilton was allowed to pass the Assumption Bill that would allow him to found the first Bank of America and assume control of all states' debts. Both plans worked out rather well as Washington DC grew into a thriving city that boasts global renown and relevance today, and America benefited greatly from their new financial systems, and over the following 200 years they were able to become the financial powerhouse of the world. I hope you liked the video, it's something a little different to the content I usually post, but it's something that interests me and I'd like to keep doing. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and please do make sure to subscribe. Thanks, bye!